it's finally good to be able to come out and see your bees out of a bad, bad freeze for about a week and a half straight. Uh, nine degrees a couple of days and then it warmed up barely. Then 10, 11, 12 degrees for a few nights, a couple of days, didn't get above freezing. And it makes a big difference to be able mentally to get out now, like on the day today, it's like 65 probably. It's, it's hot, it was too hot for a hoodie shirt. So I'm just out in t-shirt, t-shirt and shorts. And just come out and checking the bees out there flying around, looking good. Uh, of course, there's always going to be a couple of highs that you lose through the winter. That's just sometimes some of those late splits don't make it. That's okay. You just keep hammering. I just I love coming down to this uh, pollen feeder and watching them start to work because if, like I said in the past, if you don't feed them pollen here, they'll find protein somewhere. They'll find it in your corn bin. Your, if you feed cattle, they'll find it in the, the cattle feed. They'll scrounge around and pull off particles of protein and bring it back and store it. Um, this is artificial bee pollen, of course, but on these big blue feeders, my favorite pollen feeder is, is absolutely the big blue and um, it's just good to see the bees out and we're almost in February it won't be long when we get through February you're gonna see the bees starting to increase a lot and things will start to bloom I was over at my camp and I can see where the daffodils are popping through the ground so it, it won't be long you'll start seeing those are the, about the first things you see coming up and then before long, you'll see uh, bees feeding on a variety of flowers and everything that's spring. So it won't be long. Just kind of get out there and look at your bees, see how they're doing, check them out. Don't really get into the hives. Just uh, check check out their, the numbers going in, going out. Maybe pick up the back of your hive. See how heavy it is. If it does seem light, like it's running out, and if you do have any dead outs that maybe you have honey left in, well, transfer some of that over to those hives that need it. That's the best time to do this, because if they're dead, they're dead. And that honey will just sit there, they may rob it out. Then again, they may not. So help them out, you know, you can do that. Just pick up the back of your hive. You can tell if it's got honey in it enough. And, uh, and, just, and do that every year. That'll give you an idea from year to year what that feels like, what that weight feels like. Because the first time you do it, you pick it up, you're like, well, I don't know if that's got much honey in it or not, you know, but uh, just try picking up one that's uh, empty, that has frames in it, and kind of compare it to it, side by side. Pick up one, walk over and pick up your, the one that's alive. And that'll give you somewhat of an idea. But that's about it, folks, on this nice sunny day. Just wanted to see the bees flying. I thought, well, We'll do a little video. It's been a while. You get through the winter, a lot of times there's not a whole lot to do videos on. So, but I'm telling you, when it gets warm, boy, the ideas start coming out, things that I can put on video. Well, that's about it, folks. Don't forget, click on the little bell, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Barnyard Beast.